Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. It has been a long time since I've actually recorded an episode of this, and that's only because I've been doing a lot of the side quests on the side to try and level up for um, the next quest, or the next main quest anyways. Um, and I just didn't really want to like ignore any of the side quests. Um, just because there was a few interesting ones, like there was one with the uh, dandelion. But yeah, I am back and uh, I am ready to head on to our next quest. I didn't really want to record all the ooh, side quests just because it was going to be way too long and in a way I don't- sort of pointless because I don't think anybody really wants to see me do a whole bunch of side quests that have not really a lot to do with the main story most of the time um and i didn't want like to just make like i know the witch is a long game enough as it is i didn't really want to make it any longer <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking now and just talk to this guy Got the coin. yes i do a thousand coin yeah that enough thankfully i had <laughs> stuff to sell like a bowl. Stand. No, this is true. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rocking bearable. So, ready to set sail? I suppose as long as you don't like uh, crash the boat and drown me. Let's go. Uh, first, we must drink to the wind. Oh Christ. Good fortune. And to the strength of my Atropos. Okay, let's do that. It's not like you're that drunk enough as it is. Ooh. Spoopy. Is he shirtless? I bet he is. Up. Oh. Yep. He's shirtless. Get more of that shirt, this Geralt action, uh, action, action. Yeah, that. <laughs> Just can't wait to see Yennefer again. I missed her. I know she's here. She said she was going here. Oh God. I got dressed quickly. God damn it. Come on. This is what happens when well, not really what happens when you start uh, sailing drunk, but you know. Being drunk doesn't help. There is way too many people. Oh my god. I don't want this sign. I need to change it. Yes, yeah, Skellige. I think that's what he said. God damn it. Jesus. And a storm as well. Lovely. Well, guess we're swimming. Yennefer, why you gotta do this to me? See what happens. See what happens when you're not by my side. Just shit goes wrong and we end up stranded in the ocean. Hello? Oh, wait. We are in Skellige, I think. Or someplace in Scalaga, anyways. Yes, I am a witcher. Do not take my shit. Yeah, fuck you. Back 
back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dying. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap. I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you see? He's got a Northern me? Irish accent. To meet a sorceress here. That's Get hilarious. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. I think, anyways. Could be the one you're meeting. It sounds very, very Belfast to me. Uh, don't like her. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Yep, that's definitely a Belfast accent. I I wouldn't miss it. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Oh my Back god. Is, even Asshole. Even if you see her for a wench, you'd gladly push her out to sea. Tits and all. I'm gonna slap you. Okay, fine. Yennefer's not all bad once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda. I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. I'm sure she will be. Get on my horse. Is this my horse? This isn't my horse. That's your horse. Where's my horse? Oh, my horse is over there. There, my horse. Give me that loot. Welp, everybody's dead. Except me. Because I'm Geralt and I'm amazing. Come on, Roach. Scenery is beautiful here. Yennefer, my love. Wherefore art thou? I'm here for something. To find my love. To get somewhere. To what the hell is that? What are they doing? Are they sailing this dead guy? I'll take that as a yes. Oh yeah, that's kind of like what the people did in like Norse mythology, right? Oh, that bitch isn't happy. You Poor thing. Not do this, child. I know, but I won't. Ah. friendly gesture. Oh, is that her father? Oh. Um. Tis oh. Such a young lass. 
Ernie should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. Just heard his session. Or is that his former wife? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Oh, what? Is she gonna explode with him? Uh, okay. Okay, I don't remember them doing that in any of the Norse mythology that I read. Oh, there's Jennifer. My love, my sweet, I am here. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Oh, Yennefer. The eulogy. King Let's make Ron out. Of Clan Twirsek has embarked on his final voyage. At its end. Our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side <laughs> and face the sea together. That will be a good day. I love how sassy Yennefer always looks. You smell wonderful. You smell wonderful. Geralt, we're at a funeral. <laughs> you smell wonderful at this funeral. <laughs> oh my god. Is its clan. Get you a man like clans Geralt, always. Tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. Ah, oh, yeah, let's get drunk. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Um, <laughs> want to run away with you? Spend some time alone. Haven't seen each other in two years. I want a solitary cottage by the sea. I want to lock myself inside with you. Stay there for a week. Ooh, Geralt. What would we do there for a week? Oh, anything, so my dear. <laughs> the one with the rope you use for trophies. That one seems interesting. <laughs> oh, Jennifer. <laughs> reading my mind. Really hate it when you read my mind. <laughs> Stop reading my mind. Oh. Something to hide. Like secrets. Uh, oh my god, this is no. too much flirting for me. <laughs> I'm getting all bashful. I gotta look away. <laughs> Carol, she is flirt. Did you learn anything in Valor? Hmm. Been to Novigrad. Siri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Parted from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. Velen. Awful place. Somehow Siri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Siri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Yeah, they cursed also me. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Siri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. What about you? How about you? 
What have you learned? Something strange happened on Art Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. I love her shoes. Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle. Haven't seen him since. Uh... Since Siri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf. Mm. Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. All right. Guess our solitary hut will have to wait. Crack on crate someone we want on our side. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Oh, Yennefer, yeah, you love it, really. I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Crack, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Oh, Yennefer. I hate seeing you leave. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate seeing you leave, but I love watching you go. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. But, you know... I'm my English. I'm I'm stupid. <laughs> All right then, Yen. Let's see what embarrassing outfits you have for me. Yes, we have finally arrived in Skellige. Yes, it is I. Ooh. Lovely. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space. Ooh. Luxury. Pretty. It's got a nice little bath and everything. Oh, Yen. Just my room? No. Never mind. Oh, lovely. Okay, well. Let's see which one looks the le- Oh, God, that's terrible. And what about this? That's even worse. Oh, uh, it really doesn't matter with the pants. Ah, okay. Okay. Ooh, these uh, look terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Must I wear these? Mm, okay. Wait, was there any gloves? Do I need to wear gloves as well? No. Right. Just not something I'd ever wear. Oh, God. But why it... don't we do for a... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? My love, that's what she is to me. How could you say that, Geralt? You know this. Is there any way for me to get to Yennefer? Oh, I'm fucking stupid. I didn't see it. I swear this happens every time I try and record. 
I'm not recording. I play well. If I'm recording, I play like I'm a fucking idiot. This is very high. Okay. Down here, then. Okay, there she is, looking all beautiful, as usual. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I'm Geralt. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. <coughs> oh Lovely my god. Outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. As usual. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. I dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company. Oh, Geralt. Do you plan to compliment me all evening? Yes. I plan to tell you what I think. Yes. Strong as he looks. I am. I am very strong. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Mm. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Mm. Must say it suits you. Why, thank you. If you like it, I'm gonna keep it. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnberg. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. I wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. Hello. We've met. Don't remember. That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. <laughs> That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Autric on Hindar. Lovely names. Lovely people. Hmm. <laughs> Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely not. Ceres <laughs> is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Krat about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Gyalmer challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Wow, rude. Had my reasons for not participating. But I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now 
heard me mention him. Just noticed Yalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. Oh, well, I'm gonna win. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Yeah, sure, I'll race. Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! <clears throat> Oh, it's snowing. We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. I'll try. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first wins. I'm ready. So am I. You'll start when I sound the horn. Okay. I'll try not to. Oh, that guy's like ahead. What the hell? Hey. I'm a fast lad. I'm gonna win! Can't get me, bitch! Fuck. Oh, I, I think I strayed off the path. <laughs> Can't catch me, bitch! Gonna win. Oh, girls, now's the time to be out of breath. Come on. Come on, she's right behind us. She's right behind us. No! No, you can't have this. It's mine. Did I go the wrong way? No, I didn't. Okay, okay, pull it, pull it, pull it. Oh! I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm a witcher, I'm just amazing, I'm sorry. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. That didn't likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. I agree. Uh. Not me. I'm sorry. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Ooh. Yennefer. <laughs> you guys are dancing and you're in the way. Now jump over the table. Sorry. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinda, and Yar Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Oh my god. Oh my goat fucker, one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Jesus. <laughs> Time to settle this. Here and now. Please don't fight. Oh my god. Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. <laughs> oh my god, calm down. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindisfial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. <laughs> would be very pleased to oh my goodness. Call. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the It's like a handbag fight. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy this one. 
Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Jesus. Uh, you've gone too far, Lugos. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy Persian. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Probably was a mistake, but like, seriously. Don't you fucking insult my woman. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Fuck you, cunt! I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. Stop fucking hide mind your fist, you gobshite. Come on! Hit me like a man! Oh, shit. Actually, don't. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, cunt. Had enough? Ah, uh, oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction. Sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Oh, at least he's a good sport about it. Guess Witcher, it wasn't a bad idea. Have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about. Bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Jesus. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me so as we can not That's pure Irish right stronger. there. Here's to our next. Gladly. Sure. I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. To Bran. Yennefer and I'd be honored. Here's to your health. Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. Sorry, Yennefer. It was just this one time, baby. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we'd not been. Ooh. Okay, let's Take go. It, Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Alright. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. Oh, shit. Well, who's there, then? Shh. Guards. Hide behind the tapestry. You want to distract them, then, Yennefer? Wait, Starleys. Sure. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches walk. <laughs> cranes whoop. Brass peacocks screech. Hawks scream. Larks trill. And doves, they coo. That's all of them. Just start like making out. <laughs> all right, nightingales croon. No. <laughs> Getting a bit uh worked up there, girls. <laughs> Indeed. This will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic ring. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Okay. Okay. 
seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. Excuse me, I am a very. How dare you not even like? Give me that option to teleport with you. I'm offended deeply, honestly. I was gonna take all the shit and punch everything. Apparently. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Mm. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Why is it all smelly? Looks alive. Ah, uh, why are they all alive? Had one at Care Morin. <laughs> Please. I did though. I think. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Okay. What else? Oh. A basin of water. For teleprojection, a reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. The door is locked. <laughs> oh. The animals, they're alive. Yen, oh, fuck. Out. Yeah. Monsters. Feel them. They're everywhere. Well, shit. Yes, it is one less. Oh, my God. Fucking wolves. Get off me. Oh, my God. Mushrooms. Fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off. Oh, it's another bear. Lovely. Mm. Where do they keep coming from? Jennifer, where did you go? Is that it? No? What the? Um... What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals. <gasps> sword played oh my god! That wasn't real! Must have looked funny. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Shut up, Yennefer. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. <laughs> well, Let's um... Inside, that was lovely. Um, I bet he's feeling a bit silly now. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. No, we don't, but can I take this? I'm gonna take it. Pinecone. Ah, Didn't expect this. Dear Large dear female. Laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Urbaroth. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe... Ooh, look a bed, Yennefer. Goes in for light reading, too. The corpse of no triple me, Sasha Hardy. Hmm. Okay. We gotta find... The oh, what is that? <laughs> Stop Looks the girl. Like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. I'll try a mug of mead. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Nope. Huh. Seems like it worked. Oh. Who would have thunk? Okay. Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. Lovely. Oh no! It's another golem! I've had enough of these. Yennefer, do you not see the golem in front of you? 
You can't touch that mask. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. Careful. Yeah, the golem. How beautiful. Oh. Ah, fuck. Oh, Christ. Hey, we did it, Jennifer. We the best. Um, something, something, something quick. I don't know. Um, something. Look for a way to escape. I don't see anything. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Damn, I want to kiss you, Yen. Hold on tight. Don't <laughs> uh. get a kisser. Damn. Tore a hole in my dress. Wait a minute. I must mend it. No. You know how to sew. Please. I'll enchant a needle. But but what if you don't need to mend it? Wouldn't mind watching. <laughs> and he's going straight for it. Oh god. Okay. Wait. For what? We must talk to Croc. No, Why? we don't need to. Think he misses us? Because I missed you. Feel the love, Yennefer. Embrace it. She doesn't look very into it, though. Oh no. What's oh no? I missed you too. What's oh no? What's oh no? When are you gonna finally burn this piece of Oh, junk? the fucking oh, unicorn! Oh no. The unicorn! So <laughs> Damn it, Geralt. Do you have any idea how much they cost? Oh no. We gotta hurry. Croc's waiting. Oh Is my god. <laughs> I've got to try and censor this somehow. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward. Why? Why <laughs> the unicorn? Yen, let go of the mane. I know you. I let go. You throw us off. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing like that, Geralt. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, okay. My yep. Own. You. I missed you too. Yep. Um, um, it looks like you missed each other a lot. Yeah. We ought to get back to the wake. I must dress. Turn around. Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, I didn't think it was going to lead to that, but uh, I guess it did. <laughs> Oh, uh, I love Yennefer and Geralt together. They're Crocker, so cute. Asked about you. We went out for a breath of fresh air. Oh yeah, of course. The claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my words. 
There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the hmm. goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond and must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We have no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. You. Oh, is she going to step in? Ah. could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. Ooh. May the best man a woman Win. Well, at least they're not saying anything. <laughs> the little knife she dropped in. She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, children. The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. Okay. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? Mm hmm. I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble. And you seek her. Yes, I do, because she is right. in trouble. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. <laughs> Magic anomaly on Ord Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion. But I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms. Right unnatural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, art Skellig's my isle. You've my permission to investigate as you see fit. Um. Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here, on Ard Skellig, on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. 
At the usual spot. All right. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undig. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Mm. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordalach here on Arskelet. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back mm. to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. He's probably dead. I take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me. Call her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. Mm. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. So now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskelly. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Okay, Head Yennefer, south. my dear. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krah. I will see you later. And there she goes. The woman. The legend. My love. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Um, wasn't expecting that lovely romance scene, so I'm gonna have to figure a way to just censor the bits that I don't want to end up on YouTube and get my video fly, because that'd be fun. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you like the video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe if you're enjoying my content, if you're enjoying this series, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>